Hello, everyone. We're here in Team Neo at Snake Mountain. And everybody saying hello to me. Um, this is where me and some guy lived before we buggered off. Um, just, yeah. So, uh, where are we at? We're at some crappy little area that some guy built when I wasn't looking. Uh, Coop, Coupe? Coupe? Coop? Coupe. Coupe, probably. Disaster Barbers the second. <laughs> <laughs> and if you look carefully, it looks just like the other one that he made. And then the other one as well that he made. <laughs> uh, yeah, he, he likes to build his things similar. Yes, I am. Uh, what's this? This is the towering pillar of kebabs. I believe it's a kebab shop. <laughs> uh, there's no there's no way of getting behind the counter. Not a kebab, two quid. Tesco quality, fifty pence. Five R a kebab. Tave, tave, tave. Kebabble, five quid. Power and pillar free keys. <laughs> Chips, one thirty nine. The Manco Store Extra. Yeah, this is all new to me. I haven't looked in these things. What is this? Some sort of supermarket? A supermarket with an upstairs. Jesus Christ, well, there's a, there's a first time for everything. What's in here? The Snake Mountain Help Desk. Why is this area so crap? Uh, what's this? Frank Butcher's. <laughs> Cuts of cow meat, pig meat, lamb meat, dolphin meat, spy meat, lion meat, giant chicken, and llama. Notice that the llama costs, uh, well, 53 million. <laughs> Alright, so we go down the stairs, around some lovely dirt nakedness. Come across W H Blacksmiths. Now where have I heard that name before? I wonder. This first is locked with a magical spell. Okay, I can't. I can't. Oh bugger! What's this? It's Moon Maid Cow. You might have heard about him from Kick City about uh, stuck in the whole pig. They, they are brothers. Well, this one. This one. This one was brilliant. He. He. He's swimming out in the sea over here ever since we arrived and he never ever moved. What the hell is that? Somebody built over there! The news agents. Unless you're the bookshelves. You'd think you're in a flipping library. Yeah, I'll have two bottles of coke and some bread. This is my house. This is my not so obvious mountain base. And a sign. Okay, now this this front area was designed by some guy because I'm known to not build housey things. These are all my chests. Now, in one of these boxes, there they are. When I donated fifty quid, I asked for ten villager spawner eggs. And well, I never actually got to use them because we never. We're never quite finished, and since they're not going to be able to be banked here for the first and last time, our villagers in Snake Mountain. Stop there! What's this? This is near some guy's Snay's house. Snay's? Snazzy? Snay? I don't know. Some sort of... I can't get in. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, there's the cats. Very annoying buggers. Okay, chests on the ceiling with shiny, pointy things. Typical some guy. What's in here? Bedroom! Japan flag! See that? Japan flag gets everywhere. It's a trademark or something. And as well as this ginormous stupid bed idea. I give up with him. What's this? Outside the balcony. We have a nice view of the Mario Kart building from Team Fortress 2. 
Uh, it's, yeah, you can see it's incomplete. We haven't done the roof. But some guy forced me to make it, and you know, you know how some guy is. Just down here. Basement level. We've got some sort of, like, ancient voodoo witchcraft doing table. The low ceiling. And here we have an enchanting area without an enchanting table in it. <laughs> and the bookcases are too far away to actually be used. What's in here? Two sofas. Made of wood. Can't be very comfortable. Oh, a ladder. Okay. Ah, and here's a nice little view. View and platform. Go further up. An even better view in admin. Ad admin? Platform. Here you can see a nice little nice view of where we've just been. There's my house there, sticking out of the mountain. Because originally mine was supposed to be just a big, giant, almost underground base thing. And... Nothing happened. <laughs> What's this? Some wheat here. That's what I think of your wheat. That's what I think of your bloody wheat. Okay, that's it. You know, I don't think I'd be able to trample there. Then again, I am part of this area. So, what's this? More wheat. Let's get a duck. The villagers are beginning their breeding scenarios. Information center. Oh, now this is a familiar design. Welcome to Snake Mountain. The current owners are me and some guy. We will find all information about the magical place. The current guest is Oscar Nilsson, known as KQ. Who you will know from Cake City Inn, or you will not know from Cake City Inn because you have no idea what Cake City Inn is. Uh, 5th of March 2012, that's when we found this place. That's when 1.2 came out, or 1.1. This of Obsidian's past women, Andy, Kaza, Sophia, Lama, Exobi, Sin. What is, what is this? This is a lot of wrongness and... Oh, I have a diamond sword. Oh, for flip's sake. <laughs> okay, let's go further on. Somewhere. Some reeds farm here. Blah, 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 blah. Snake Mountain Church, St. David Pleats. <laughs> oh, David Pleats a running joke. You must have heard his name before. Jesus Cross, the sermon table. Crappy ass pews. This is probably the worst church I've ever stepped foot in. There's the bell tower up there, but you can't actually get up there. Okay. <laughs> now, what's this? Le Fountain of Mon Dieu. This this fountain it's a very curious design by something. I must say I do like it. It it it's it's got, it's got elements of Albania, Algeria, Czechoslovakia in it. Three countries you'll never hear in the same sentence again. There's two pieces of dirt here that he missed. Genius. Well that's better, much better. Alright, here is where the villagers were supposed to live. I wonder if any of the villagers came over here. They've all got all these little huts of beds and... Uh, is there just beds inside them? Yeah, just beds. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any villagers here. Unfortunately. Right, what's through here? This is a little tunnel. It leads to... See, I'm, I haven't been in here so long. Alright, oh, this is... This is Oscar Nilsson's little house area. Um, I can't get in it. Thank you, head admin. Alright, so we have a chest. Mushrooms. And... Oh my good god. What the hell is this? A pillar room. I've never seen this, and I don't know what it is. Right, here's a nice little view of the mountain. Let's go further through the village. Dock area. Right, we have a dog in the village's docks. 
There's cats and dogs, but no villagers. It's a square room. Um, not really, not really sure what it's got to do with dogs, but there you have it. <laughs> what is this? A cobblestone generator? I think it is. It is a cobblestone generator, it's just very laggy, so that's pointless. One thing about Neo server is popular, so it's very laggy. Right now, you can see the sort of getting off the beaten track here Mario Kart 2008. It's a bit run down, really. The cat bus has been overgrown, it's quite mossy. Turned a shade of grey. There, there, never, there never was a grey cat bus. And here's the blue spawn. Now, this seems to be in quite good state, quite a good um, condition, considering. <laughs> it's, it's a good representation of the blue spawn, actually. It's the tower rack, the picture, and the, the, the cupboard. And the two. Medicine cabinet. This is a bloody cow somewhere. There he is. Shut up. If you could, if you can answer where the red spawn is, I'll give you a million quid. Because there isn't a red spawn. Okay, let's go up the mountain here. This is a uh, an ugly design by Neo Sunge. This staircase. I think he found it in a uh, a magazine of his. Perhaps uh, food weekly. Right here's the here is my prime joy, the sheep box. Now, the those of you who are astute, wonder if it's the design looks rather like the Welsh flag, except there isn't a dragon on it. There's a sheep. Now, all the sheep currently are dark blue. Uh, why is that? Oh, well. Part of the. We were doing something in the Mario Kart the only, that was only blue. There is a stick. <laughs> That's a lighthouse, I believe. Very skinny for a lighthouse. You'd be right in thinking, sir. Um, serves no purpose because there are no ships. Nobody, nobody ever visits this area. And there's a swamp plant actually over there, so no ship is ever going to get through that. All right, let's go and have a look at a closer look at the Mario Kart building. A couple, a couple of people have seen this, and they've all asked the same question: "What the flipping hell is it?" <laughs> uh, obviously, those of you that don't play TF2 will have absolutely no idea. It's just a big rainbow pile of crap. Now the floor of this building is supposed to be sandstone. Or oh, this little tunnel area. These there are there are pictures in the in the TF2 bit, but we couldn't recreate them using this space, so we just did. No, some guy designed those. <laughs> I have no idea what they are. It's, it's, a, it's a fairly large building. I must say, I'm, 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 I'm proud of what we did. Here's, a, here's the other tile. <laughs> Probably the best picture you've ever seen in your life. The H is flipping. Now, if you play, if you play on Mario, uh, Mario, Neo's TF2 Mario Kart map, you'll notice that the building is slightly different in it. That's because Anderson, well, made some changes. Shall we see? This is the original one. Blue. Wow. <laughs> I didn't realise. You see, don't forget just how much wall there is here. Okay, and there you can see I did, I did maybe, what, 60% of the floor. And then I gave up. I didn't give up, I just <laughs> never returned. It's a lot of work building this. And inside this room there's... Really, not very much. There's a there's a stage on that side with some boxes that play music and a couple of tables. Really, that's about it. 
People call this the disco room. But if you'd like to have a look at Mario Kart building in more detail, pop by before 1.3 comes out. And maybe you'll find the hidden hidden legend in Snake Mountain. I'm Neo Obsidian, and I'm going down! <laughs> uh.